trying to get an angle here. Let's see what I can figure out. Let's see. Can you guys see? Hey, Tammy, how are you? Trying to see to get to where you can see kind of what I'm doing. Hey, Kim. Hey, Marge. How are you guys? Welcome to Nana's Kitchen. Guys, I just wanted to jump on. I'm trying to get a better angle for you guys to see me and to see what I'm doing. Can you see the pot? Somebody let me know. I can't see with the comments what you can see and what you can't. Hey, Tristan. All right, guys. Um, I just wanted to come live. Welcome to Nana's Kitchen. If you don't know me, I'm Nana, a.k.a. Dorothy, and I live in Rossville, Georgia, and the group that I'm part of, we're doing a uh, lazy uh, keto diet, um, and today is pink day. Well, I don't own any pink, so this purple is as, as close to the pink as I can get, but I found these uh, crazy headband that has pink, so I'm meeting the criteria of having on something pink. Ah! All right, so let me give you some light, and um, I'm just making my lunch. Yesterday, I did, hey, Deanna, uh, guys, if you're watching me live, put a one in the comment. If you've never seen me cook before on a live, put new, and if you want this crazy recipe I'm about to do, um, put group. All right, so a lot of what you're going to see today is, oh, excuse my bangs, guys, they're about to drive me crazy, um, is leftovers from yesterday that I'm going to throw together and make a hot and sour soup. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm a vegetarian. If you don't know my story, my husband and I started in January with a lazy keto diet and some delicious, um, PTK drinks that we use. He has lost 30 pounds. I have lost 15. I'm stuck again. But guys, I am injured, so I do no exercise. I'm only allowed to be on my feet now 30 minutes every two hours. It, uh, we're trying to get there. But I have been, I've been injured for two years. So um, I had surgery in December, and so that... Um, I'm in physical therapy trying to gain back mobility. All right, so yesterday I made um, tofu and I made a very good hot and sour um, dipping sauce. And so I'm going to use that dipping sauce to make my hot and sour soup today. I also used half of my tofu yesterday. And today, I will use my other half. So, I'm just going to chop up my tofu into squares. Just chopped up the other half. I don't know why that just blinked. Because I looked down and I came back and I had blinked. I don't know why. Must have been a message. Uh, as I said, I'm a vegetarian. So, I am going to add some vegetarian protein. Um, and I'm only adding about a quarter of a cup. Um, and so that's there. I have um, an egg that I have beaten that I will add at the end. And so I'm going to start with a cup and a half of vegetarian, of a vegetable stock. And I'm going to turn this on. And I have it on a front eye. And guys, I'm just going to warn you. You know this happens every time I use a front eye. But it's the only way I can get to where you guys can see me. So let's hope we don't have a fire alarm, but we'll see. All right, so I'm going to let that come up um, to a boil. But to that, I am going to add a good heaping tablespoon of my hot and sour uh, sauce that I made yesterday. It does have coconut in it, which doesn't bother me at all and I'm just gonna let that uh, absorb in and then I'm gonna taste it to see if I need more uh, again this is just leftovers from yesterday that I'm throwing together to make a hot and sour soup if you're not a vegetarian um, use ground beef or sausage 
uh, but as a vegetarian, that's um, the reason what I'm doing. Yesterday, if you did not catch me live, um, this hot and sour soup uh, sauce turned out great. Um, it has um, apple cider vinegar, um, hot sauce, soy sauce, um, some monk fruit, and uh, some um, xanthan gum to thicken, coconut, garlic, absolutely, ginger, hey Lisa. Um, I'm using my leftovers from yesterday to make a hot and sour vegetarian soup today. I've um, never done it quite this way before, so I'm going to have to taste it. You guys are kind of coming along with my process. Um, nobody's going to be eating this but me, so I'm going to be tasting with what I'm using. Hey, Michelle, how are you? Just trying to quickly do a lunch for myself. Before I go back to work. Okay, guys, that needs more of my sauce. So I am adding the other tablespoon and a half. So I'm just going to use the rest of my sauce in there. And then I'll taste to see if I need to add anything else to my base. Now I'm going to turn it down to a simmer because it is now boiling. And I'm hoping I don't set up the fire alarm. Okay, from this point, everything in it is prepared, um, you know, in, in the sauce. And so now I want to add my meat. Again, I'm using vegetarian protein crumbles, about a quarter of a cup because I don't care too much for, um, even in the vegetarian world, I'm, I don't eat a lot of meat, if that's what you want to call it. Oh, I'm glad Cat loves the headband. Today is pink day in the organization, and I don't have pink, so, um, this is, this is my adaption to the pink. Hey, Brittany, how's that pretty baby girl of yours? Um... And uh, Karen, hey guys, I'm making hot and sour soup. I just added some mushrooms. If I'd had fresh mushrooms, that's what would be going in here. I did not have fresh mushrooms. I am a full believer of whatever's in my kitchen can go in my pot. I had a can of mushrooms. I have put, hmm, it was a handful. So maybe, maybe a quarter of a cup. I don't know. All right, so to that, I'm now going to add my um tofu and again i have a, a block of to a half of a block of tofu here and i'm just going to add all of that because i really love the tofu and the flavoring that it takes on oh it smells delicious let's taste that broth again Mm, hang on, I need some salt. Let me grab the salt. I am a salt lover, guys. Again, always do it to your taste or your needs. All right, I'm going to bring that up to a low boil because now I want to add my egg. Okay? And I want the egg... To just cook in a little stream and then I'll I'll put this in a bowl for you guys to see she is so beautiful but I still think she looks uh, very much like your sister um, so I know that she will change a hundred different times before we even within a short period of time Brittany but she is so beautiful Bringing that back up to a low boil. I don't want it to be a high boil, but I want it to be enough to add where I am pouring my eggs that it is, um, that it's cooking it pretty quickly. Okay. All right, here we go. 
Let's hope I don't end up with a mess. Okay. Just want to cook it in a little, see how I'm just barely doing a stream? It is all that hair. <laughs> it absolutely is. She's so beautiful. Oh, guys, this is looking good. At least for me. I'm very happy with it. I've got the um, little streams of egg in here, and it just smells delicious. All right. I think I've got it right where I want it. Perfect. All right, guys. I'm just going to give that another second or two to let that egg really be done. Nothing worse than an egg that wouldn't be cooked. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Guys, what are you doing today? I literally just jumped off the computer to um, come fix a little lunch um, so that I can get back on and keep on working. But um, normally I don't eat during my work day, but today... I was a little chilly. I keep my house pretty cool. Hey, Kayla. Um, and so I thought, what better way than to just really use yesterday's ingredients and create a, a vegetarian hot and sour soup. I thought that that would be great to try. All right. Let's show you my hot and sour soup. Look at this. All right, let's taste it. And that tofu, the more it sits in there, the, the more it is going to take on the flavors. And if I had had a fresh uh, scallion, and I would cut it up and add it to the top, but I don't, so... Oh my gosh, guys. This is great. And again, you can make it non-vegetarian just by adding um, some ground beef or some sausage instead of the vegetarian protein. But the vegetarian protein in here is delicious. Mm. Let's try some of that um, tofu. Look. Mmm. Uh. Oh, guys, that makes me happy. So, you have just come on an adventure. If you're just tuning in, it's pink day in the group, and I don't have pink. So, purple is the closest that I got to pink, and I found the little headset. So, I'm meeting today's um, challenge. We're kind of doing like a pajama day, pink day. Hawaiian day was yesterday. I don't have any Hawaiians, so I do have an orangey shirt, so I put that on yesterday. Um, I'm finding it hard because I don't do themes. I work in a high school, so um, we don't have a lot of theme days, um, usually just during Renaissance, and I either have it or I don't have it, so some days I participate, some days I don't. Um, but, guys, um, if you're catching me live, put a one in the comment. If you're, this is the first time you're catching me, hey, Ashley, um, put a um, new in the comment. Tell me what you're doing today for lunch. What are you eating for lunch today? Again, I am enjoying using leftovers and creating something new, and I have created a hot and sour soup, a vegetarian tofu, and vegetarian protein. Mmm. And it is perfect. Mm-hmm. And, um, the, um, um, coconut that was in there from yesterday made this to have just a little bit of a crunch. Um, thanks, Ashley. And so, you hope you have something soon? I hope you have something soon, too. What leftovers do you have that you can make into something new? Something new. That is always a challenge that I challenge myself is to try to, if we've had leftovers once, that's fine. But then what do we do with that if there's more leftovers? How can I change that? Hmm. 
And this is so good, guys. All right. You have just joined in to Nana's Kitchen, and I'm so happy you came along with me to fix my lunch. Guys, if you find any value in this whatsoever, please share it out to a couple of groups. I would greatly appreciate it and show me the love for that. And um, I'll catch you next time in Nana's Kitchen. Thanks, guys. Bye.